Hey, X-Ray. Uh, I'm interested in medieval times. Uh, I wonder if you could give me any information about that. What's the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality? What's the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality? Hey, X-Ray, who are Qualcomm? Hey, X-Ray, what is Snapdragon Spaces? Hey, X-Ray, who are Qualcomm? So effectively, we take audio from all around. That might be audio captured by the phone. It might be audio captured by Bluetooth microphones such as this. It takes that audio, it sends it up to the cloud in real time, turns that audio into text, sends that text back to the phone, and then we display it in augmented reality. So you could be having a conversation with someone and the subtitles are literally appearing right next to their face. Hey, X-Ray, what's the difference between mixed reality and virtual reality? Hey X-Ray, how many partners does Qualcomm have? What's the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality? Deaf people have told us that it can be incredibly isolating, being surrounded by family or friends or in a work environment and not able to fully engage in the conversation because you can't keep a track of everything that's going on. With technology like this, we can provide that contextual information and actually be able to allow them to see what people are saying for the first time. And some of the reactions that we've had as users have tried this on is you know, truly life-changing technology. What is Snapdragon Spaces? Well, the world has truly gone wild for ChatGPT, of course, and we're delighted that everybody else found it. Uh, we've actually been working with them since the summer, uh, and we integrated the back end of ChatGPT, which is actually the DaVinci GPT model, uh, directly into X-Ray. So people can ask questions such as general knowledge or recipes or anything they like, or they can actually ask it questions of their conversation. So, hey, X-Ray, can you please summarize this conversation? Or, hey, X-Ray, what was the name of the town that we were just talking about. The addition of our X-ray assistant means that this is now something which could be beneficial to a whole range of additional people. You can look at people who have dyslexia, for instance, you know, people who struggle to understand things. An ability, first of all, to be able to refer back to a conversation history and immediately be able to see that information, but also to be able to ask those clarifying questions or go on a voyage of discovery with GPT and ask it about anything you like in the whole world. So again, we think that's going to radically increase the audience for this software.